What up, Tampa? Now, folks, got something on the screen here. You might be confused, right? This stuff right here, see this? This white substance, okay? There's a little bit more of it right here. Some of it right here. There's even some back over here and right up in here, right? I know you're all in tap and you're like, what in the heck is that? I don't understand. This is what we call snow, motherfuckers. This is snow. I know y'all don't get it down there in Tampa. But you know what else you don't get in Tampa? You don't get incredibly cheap houses like this one. So a lot of you, <clears throat> a lot of you are coming up north here to the Cleveland, Ohio market to invest in the real estate, right? The real estate. The snow-covered caps of Cleveland, Ohio. But. Just because it's cheap, does it really mean it's a good deal? That's what I help you determine. I don't want any of you snowbirds. Get it? Snowbirds? Man, I'm just, just going with the snow jokes today. Anywho, I don't want any of you folks down there in Tampa coming up here to Cleveland to invest in real estate before you talk to me because you might make a big, costly mistake. Just because it seems cheap, there might be drawbacks you haven't thought of. I'm here to help you discover those. That's what I'm doing from one of my clients in Tampa right now, right here. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy, Jay Wise. Today's show is from my main man, Troy. Troy sent me this deal, folks, and this is a cheap deal, okay? Super cheap deal. <clears throat> 4502 Katharina Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. Hit the market 10 days ago, and you sent it to me, Troy. Why? Because it's only $67,900, dude. You're down there in Tampa. You're like, whoa, this looks like a pretty good deal, Jay Wise. I think it's cheap. Let me know, though, because I don't want to mess up, right? I'm down here in Tampa. I ain't the Cleveland guy. You're the Cleveland guy, right? And if you go through the photos, Troy, it looks like, okay, could be a pretty decent rental, right? Shouldn't have any issues. Uh, 67900 No big deal. We get some tenants in there, probably Section 8. Bada bing, bada boom, it's a good sale, right? On the surface, it looks like it could be pretty good. You probably read my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, where I graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale, Troy. I grade this neighborhood about a C. So if all things were being equal, 67000 price point, tenant occupied, I'd say it's probably a pretty good deal. We should probably run the numbers. But I ain't going to do that because <clears throat> it's not. I don't want you to buy this, Troy. Things have changed, and it's my job to make sure you know about those things. We got some pretty big problems right here with this particular property right now. Not necessarily the property itself, but the property in the city of Cleveland, okay? And that's why you guys pay me. That's why people like Troy order personalized videos from me, right? By the time anybody else is watching this pri uh, publicly on Holton Wise TV, I sent this to Troy privately months ago, folks. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Troy is doing in real time after the show, I want you to click the notes, book a free call on my team. But here's the situation, Troy. It's in Cleveland. Cleveland just changed the law, okay? <clears throat> they just changed the lead law. There's these new lead certifications, OK, this property has not gone through them. Right. The seller has not made mention of them. The listing agent has not made mention of them. I do not believe these uh, seller and listing agent are aware of the new lead laws. And just looking through your photos, if I go closer, I bet you we're going to run into some issues because I've seen some peeling paint up here by the windows, windows, exterior, wood, wood siding on the exterior windows. Those are the biggest lead hazard areas. And look at this porch, bro. This right here, just a ton of peeling paint. Any house built before 1978 is required to go through Cleveland's new uh, lead certification process every two years. They haven't done so. That's a big deal. It's There would be so many unknowns for you buying this property. 
because of how robust that process is. I made a 30-minute video explaining it because so many investors and real estate agents are confused by it. I have linked to it below, Troy. I want you to watch that video, and I think after you watch that video, you'll see how cumbersome it is to go in and buy an unknown like this because I guarantee you we're going to have some lend hazards, and it's going to be a whole big mess. Where we are right now, the law is new. About 7,000 sellers and owners of Cleveland rental property have gone through the process. Problem is there's about 90,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland. So that means 83,000 people haven't gone through the process. Maybe they're not aware of it. I don't know, but this person has not gone through the process. It would be a mistake for you to go in and just blindly pay 67900 and then have to blindly deal with going through this later. Do I believe that the new lead-based ba lead paint laws make investing in Cleveland untenable? No. We could still invest in Cleveland, folks, but you need to make sure you're buying a property where the seller has already gone through that process at least once, right? Because the first one is going to be the biggie, right? The first one is going to cover big, huge issues like we see here, right? All this peel and paint right here. And you don't get to just scrape it and then repaint it. No, no, no. That's why you got to watch my lead paint video, folks. A half hour explaining it. This is big. This is huge. Unless you're getting a discount, you do not want to pay full freight for this property right now. Wouldn't make sense. The seller hasn't gone through all that stuff. You don't want to be the guy holding the hot potato. The five properties I sent you, Troy, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So this, out of the six total videos we've done for you, this would be the one I would be the least interested in. Check out the other five I sent to you. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.